stay black in America. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. The greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Um, today is going to be my sermon number 80. Uh, death is only the beginning. Um, I'll start off by saying that, look, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repent of your sins. The only way to enter the kingdom of heaven is to do so. God sent his only begotten son to die for the sins of the entire world. This is the prerequisite. He died for the sins of the entire world. So there's no other way to heaven but through Jesus Christ. So God has gave him the key to everything. So the gain of all knowledge is that. Some people say it's in 2 Timothy 3 and 7, of ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Well, you can learn anything you want. You can try to learn, uh, oh, uh, where is Jesus' body still here, or, or, or did he descend to heaven? Uh, can we dig up uh, the, the disciples? Can we go to certain lands? We can research all kinds of things. The land, Jerusalem, what happened there, the history, everything that occurred there, right? A bunch of knowledge we're gaining. But the knowledge of the truth is that is your immortal soul going to heaven when you die? That's the most important thing. But see, because our, our life's but a vapor. It appear for a minute and, and then no more. You know, say in this modern day here, 2023, you can give somebody a funeral, put them in a coffin, and, and it says that the body in a coffin can uh, decay between 10 and 15 years. Nothing's in there but bone fragments, teeth, and maybe a little hair. Everything's gone. So everything you invested in that death and that burial is is is, is gone. That 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 that, that headstone, that the, the hole in the ground, the coffin, all that investment that you put there was actually a wasted investment. It didn't benefit the dead at all. It it, it benefited or, or, or made someone feel better who was living. So we want to always remember that the spirit the spiritual is eternal and the body is just for time. Ash to ash, dust to dust. Even if you cremate somebody, right, and don't leave the seal closed so oxygen can't, can't get to it, even those crystallized uh, things of cremation can begin to dissipate and, and, and turn to ashes and dust. But if you keep it sealed, science say it can last for a million years, so they say. But anytime oxygen gets to it, even that will start to decay. So we want to always focus and concentrate on the spiritual not the physical. So when God says things like um, David is a man after my own heart, right? And, and, and what does that mean? It means that, that David will do the will of what the will of God is he will do the will of God his father in heaven. He'll do what God wants him to do. He's not going to renege on it. He's not going to go his own way. He's going to do the will of God. Let me know David was a human man who had flaws. Everybody has flaws. Every human man has flaws. I mean we're human beings, right? We're building a superior animal body to dwell on this earth that we're living on. When we no longer have to dwell on this earth we're living on and our spiritual bodies exist, we don't have to breathe oxygen, we don't have to go to the bathroom, do none of those things. We're spirits then, right? We're immortal. Remember, the spirit made the physical. God made the physical, right? God is a spirit. He did worship him, was worship in spirit and truth. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So we got to always remember, even though in all this gain of knowledge we can get and all these things we'll find out and discover, the most important thing you could ever find in your life is that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and repent of your sins. Now, there'll be some that might do this in their hearts to be totally contrary to God. They think, well, I'm tricking God. I'm accepting God. I'm going to say, repent of my sins. I'm going to live my life as carnal and sinful as I possibly can. I'm not going to do the will of God at all. You know, we know the will of God would be to tell people what I'm telling you. By doing what I'm doing and telling you about Christ, I'm giving you the will of God. Because the will of God is that all mankind be saved, that none perish. Because hell was not made for man. Hell was made for the angels that were cast out of heaven. Swung the earth like lightning. That's what hell was made for. All people are given the choice for eternal life. You only go to hell if you decide to go to hell. You don't go to hell because God wants you to go there. You go there because you decide. Because God made it as simple and easy as possible for you to go to heaven. He made it through grace because, you know, we're constantly going to fall and we stumble. We're constantly going to make mistakes. We're constantly going to have to repent all the time. I mean, you repent and ask God to forgive you all the time. You're going to get angry at somebody. You might 
wrong word to somebody. You might strike somebody. You might do a bunch of things that contrary to what God wants you to do. So he knows that his grace is sufficient for you. So it's not by your works that you go to heaven. It's through by grace. If Christ didn't die for our sins, we all would, we all would go to hell. We all would perish and go to hell. And, and some people might think, well, you know, like like when, when, when you die, okay, it's over. Then I can get away with all kind of crap I'm doing. If I can live my life and stay healthy and live as long as I, I can live, then I've won this, this game. I've won this race. Well, you're only deceiving yourselves because soon you close your eyes and your life is over here in the flesh, your spiritual life automatically is going to go either to heaven or it's going to go to hell. But you're going to be judged. You're going to be judged by the God of this universe. And when this God of the universe judges you and you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, any sin you've ever done is counted against you. And the smallest of sins sends you to hell. You see what I'm saying? So uh, the most important thing I can keep saying and stressing on my channel to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repent of your sins and, 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 and pray and pray, praise God every day and say your prayers, man, and, and, and make sure you're saved. Make sure that, 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 you know, when God comes and dwells within you, the things, the carnal things of the world will start to get weaker and weaker and weaker because it's the renewing of your mind. It's the acceptance of God through by grace and the renewance of your mind. It causes you to become more like Christ every day. More like Christ every day. We're never going to ever achieve perfection here in this flesh. But we become more like Christ every day. And then to do the will of God is to tell those who follow after us or those we come in contact with. Again, what I say, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Repent of your sins because this is what God set about for man to go to heaven. Let's not, let's not go into this thing where some people get confused and say, oh, um, um, uh, that Christianity is a white man's religion. We can look through history and see how, how these Christians have dominated people, take advantage of people, done this, done that, robbed. It's always going to be human nature mixed in things. You have priests that, that are gay, that have, that have sex with uh, little children, little boys, and, and, they're, and, they're, and they're synagogues, they do things they shouldn't do, right? But they're considered priests. Why? Because they went through a process. Like many people are considered pastors and priests because they might have went through school and got education. Oh, I got a degree in, in divinity. I got this or that. So now I'm, I'm able to preach. But you got women preaching when the Bible clearly tells you women shouldn't preach. So people's, people's will, free will, are doing all kinds of things in, in, in this world. But believe me, God knows your heart. When I keep saying God knows your heart, because science can say your heart has electrical pulses that bounce from up to bottom, and the main purpose of your heart is to pump blood through your body. But God looks at the heart in the spiritual realm, doesn't he? He says that David had a heart like God. He has a heart like me, a heart like me. So God looks at it more in the spiritual, which is supernatural. When we humans are only looking at things in the spiritual. I mean, in the, we're only looking at things in the physical, most humans. We're not looking at things in, in, in the spiritual. So we're only examining that which is physical. That's why most scientists are atheists, because they don't believe in God, because they want, how can we examine this? They, they can't prove or disprove because they can only look on the physical. They can't look on the supernatural. We know without faith it's impossible to please God. Can they quantitate? Can they give you the meaning of faith? Well, or they can, you know, they can have faith in the instruments. The instruments they're using to look at uh, certain things. That I'm, I'm sure they have faith that those instruments are going to work. That they'll be able to get the right coordinates. That someone else can look at the instrument and get the same, the same coordinates, the same readings. I think they have faith that their telescopes can reach in, in, the, in the space and see certain things. I think they have faith in that. They have faith that, that uh, when they go to sleep, they're probably going to wake up the next morning if they ate the right foods and they're doing the right thing and their sleep is protected, they can't get hurt. That you know, but they're not going. They're not going to say by faith. They'll say they did it because I did A, B, and C. That's why I arrived at this solution. That's all physical, right? But now, if a scientist comes down with cancer and it can't be cured, he'll say, "Well, I've got." Class four cancer, and I can't be healed of this thing, so I'm just going to die, right? They're not going to say, well, pray to God to heal them or, or come out of that thing. They're not going to pray that because they're looking at science. Science means that the gig is up for you, right, in the physical. But we know that the spiritual, supernatural, supersedes that. We know that, we know that God said that he knew you before he formed you in the womb of your mama. He knew you. You existed before you existed in your mom's womb. So you already existed. You were already here. So, so death is, is the beginning of, 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 of a, new, a, new, a, new, a new life, a new, a new beginning. So 
I like to say, man, I keep saying, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repent your sins because there's only one way to get into the kingdom of heaven. That's the way. God sent his son to die, to, to be dead for three days. And those three days he was dead, he was with his father in heaven, you know. And then he came back in his body. He was with that resurrected body. When he lived on this earth, what did he, he walked on the water, right? He raised the dead. He cleaned lepers. He, 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 he cast out evil spirits. He did all kind of matter of supernatural things that people could see. That's why Christianity, what we call it today, I say we're a follower of Jesus Christ, a follower of Yeshua, a follower of the Son of God. We're the follower of that because we're the followers of, we believe in what he said in the gospel that he preached. So we, so we know that's the only way to get in heaven. We don't get in heaven by any other means. We can't get in heaven by the precious Virgin Mary. She was the vessel that brought forth Christ who was born upon the Spirit, not upon the flesh. So we get in heaven by Christ, by accepting Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, repenting our sins, or whatever name we want to use, Yeshua. But we all know the Son of the living God, right? So the most important thing that you can always remember is that we're ever gaining knowledge, and most of us are never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And and how and how blessed is that? Because somebody of limited knowledge and somebody of of of, of immense knowledge, someone of immense knowledge could miss out on the kingdom of God trying to figure something out. And someone of less knowledge will by faith accept God, accept accept your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and gain heaven. It's like there's many places in the Bible where it says the poor man was at the gate begging for food. And he was a man that believed in God. He was a man that it was, it was on his way to the kingdom of heaven, but he was in a destitute situation, begging at the gates. And rich, powerful people would pass by him and wouldn't give him a thing, step over and wouldn't give him nothing. And then when they both end up dying, the poor man's in heaven, and the rich man still seems entitled. He wants the poor man to dip his fang. He asks Abraham, can he, the poor man, dip his fang in some water and, and put it in his mouth to quench his thirst? Even in death, he thinks he's entitled. But his thing is, is over. His test has been done. He's been through his examinations and he's fell. He's failed his examination because there was no curve in his examinations. There was no score he could arrange to. It was grace that would only save his soul and transfer his spiritual body from this place to heaven and not hell. See, when we die, it's no rest in peace. You either go to heaven or you go to hell. Your judgment is then. The resurrection is, is going to happen one day, but millions die every day and millions are born every day. That's the most important. That's your test. Your test is walking your your daily life on this earth and seeing how many people that you can affect with the gospel, how many people you can tell about the gospel, how many people you can bring to the kingdom of God. This is the will of God. He sent his son to do that the same thing, to bring mankind to him, and he wants all the followers of Christ to do the same thing. So stay black in America, subscribe to my channel, like, share, and all that kind of good stuff because this is the most important thing I could ever do. And thank God I'm doing it now. So, till next time, subscribe to my channel and trust in your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins so that heaven is yours through by grace. No more worrying, no more thinking of this or that. All about faith, all about acceptance. If you accept Christ, you'll go to heaven. If you don't, you shall not. Bye.